This is the strikingly punchy Urbanista Miami. And I don't blame you if you've never heard of Urbanista before, but who cares? Look at this thing. Just look at it. Let that red burn into your retina for crying out loud. But more so than last week's Tautronics, this thing screams fashion statement. Can you imagine wearing this? Let me try this on for you real quick. Can you imagine wearing this headphone and pairing this with your favorite outfit? And so what if you've never heard of this brand from Sweden? Because I'll tell you this, the Miami not only looks good, but also does the whole headphone thing pretty darn well as well. Did I just say well twice in like two seconds? But anyways, if you're curious, let's find out after these messages. <laughs> Well, here it is, the Urbanista Miami, and there's plenty to like here. And I'll get into the specs first, then we'll take a deeper dive. So if you're ready, let's do it. So the price, the Miami costs $550. Just kidding, it's only $149, and the color options are really where it's at too. There's white pearl, midnight black, teal green, and this one, ruby red. And for the price, you're given active noise cancellation with ambient mode. There's also Bluetooth 5.0 on board with SBC and AAC. Battery life is a monster, 50 hours, according to Urbanista anyway. I tested this for over a week and was able to eke out around 48 hours with active noise cancellation on and volume at 65%. We also have wear detection here and buttons for controls. Now, all said, though the Miami has quite a lot of features going for it, there are some things missing for the price I noticed, namely auto power off, that would be nice, a companion app and app deck support. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, please click and subscribe down below and turn on the bell notification icon. That will be super awesome. So let me say this, pictures and videos won't do this justice because not until you see this in person, you won't realize how much this red, it really pops and the design just looks really proper. It's really nice. You will definitely stand out when you wear this on your head. Now, in terms of plastics though, they use good quality ones, a little bit hollow for my liking, you can hear that, but it does have this metallic effect that makes it look like metal from afar. The seam lines could be a little bit tighter, especially here between the headband and the slider. There's a little bit more space than I would like for the price, but overall, the quality is really good. I can do this little exaggerated stretch test, uh, bend test, and there's no creaking at all. It's really nice. In the business end of things, there's a 40 millimeter driver in here doing all the grunt work with plenty of pleather lime foam padding to cup your ears, as you can see. It's a little bit stiff for my liking it doesn't pop back in form as some of the others do and the other thing too is you don't often get padding stretching from end to end on the headband but this is what it looks like on a Miami it's really really generous but all that being said too it does get pretty warm so these are perfect for a cold winter's day but not so much in the summer it is comfortable but it gets pretty warm and you have sweaty ears after a while on the left of your cup, we have the noise cancellation cycle button. And if you tap this each time, it'll cycle through noise cancellation, ambient as well as off. And right here in the middle, I'm not sure you can see that, is the LED status light. Right next to that is the USB-C charging port. And at the top here is one of the microphones. And I'm not sure if you noticed this already, there are no venting grills anywhere for the bass to escape. So this is a closed off unit. So, you know, it doesn't leak sound, so that's a plus, but it does affect sound staging a little bit. But I'll talk about sound quality overall later on in the show. And over on the right side, we find two more of the other microphones. One at the top here at the front and over at the bottom here. And right next to that is the 3.5 millimeter audio port. And here are the three physical buttons that control playback as well as phone calls and voice assistant. They accept single, double tap as well as hold. And to be honest, the button presses themselves, the quality of it, listen to this. It sounds kind of hollow and it's really, really stiff. It takes a lot of effort to work them. So it is what it is. And if you can take it, I guess that would be a non-issue. Now the proximity sensor for wear detection is right here on the right ear cup. And in terms of adjustment, this thing only does twisting like this on the vertical axis. It doesn't fold in or anything like that. So you can lay this flat either in your backpack or in the case that comes with it. The, the adjustment slider in the headband, this is really nice. It's pretty much infinite in terms of how far it can travel compared to your regular physical detent. So in terms of adjustability it's a nice win right here ANC on ambience on ambience off
I'm out here on this really gloomy, foggy day doing the Bluetooth distance test. I have some Bastille playing some surviving on Deezer right here. And I'm going to put the phone at the end of my deck and we're going to take the Miami for a walk around the back of my house towards the side and we'll see when these guys have uh, connection issues. So the Miamis have Bluetooth uh, 5.0 so it should last around 30 to 33 feet before we start hearing some stuff there. So there's the phone there and where I'm standing uh, for reference is around 25 feet. I'm going to walk around this way. How are you guys doing? Hope you're doing all right. So I'm expecting it to, yep, there you go. Just as expected, it just dies right there or without warning, it just has a disconnecting uh, issues. But we haven't gotten a full complete disconnect tone yet. So I'm gonna keep walking until I get the tone. And yep, yeah, right around here, around um, 47, 45 feet, uh, we got the tone uh, and around, around 35 feet before we got uh, signal breakup. So I'm gonna keep walking back to see if the music continues. Actually it is. So that's a good thing. And you can see the fit on these um, and the color. <laughs> these things just pop. I, I love wearing these. Uh, everyone loves, loves the look of it. Even MKBHD would be proud of this one. Although I don't think he'll wear OEM anymore. Everything is customized red for him nowadays. That guy is also special. But anyways, let's move on to the microphone test for phone calls right by the street here. Let's do it. So it is close to early morning rush hour right now and I hope we have enough traffic on the road here so we can better hear and get uh, proper samples to test the noise suppression on these. So I'm gonna switch between the G85 and the mics on these uh, Miami so you can better hear it. A couple of cars are coming by, it's really kind of sparse right now. But I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm not happy with the logic on these. Um, in quiet environments, they're barely okay. My voice already sounds digitized when it's quiet, but when the noise picks up, when wind comes in, oh my goodness, it really starts breaking up especially for a unit of this price and in the year 2021 it's kind of embarrassing so yeah if you're zooming with these skyping with these in a quiet environment in the office it's fine but it's a shame because these were meant to be worn outside and if you're using these for phone calls it's just barely manageable and yeah here comes some more traffic and we'll see how these things do in the windy environment as i mentioned before they do also struggle quite a bit what is that in my driveway? somebody threw trash it looks like somebody's severed head or maybe there's a dead cat in there. But anyways, Urbanista, back to the drawing board. I think you can uh, do better in the next version. So yeah, fix this thing. Now, here are my top three favorite things about these headphones. In the sound department, and this is where it surprised me the most, this is more than just a pretty face. And I wish I was talking about myself here, but for $150, these headphones provide a decent amount of bass, detail, and power or amplification. When I listen to my test song, So Done by Alicia Keys, I can hear the details and nuances. Her voice is right in the center of my head right there. It's really nice and engaging. It almost actually borders of being warm. So if you like this Sony analog sound profile, this might be worth checking out. The second thing that I really like about these headphones is the obvious elephant in the room, the color and design combo. These things just pop and stand out and wherever I wear this it attracts attention in a good way. My son, a pre-teenager who's like very particular about how things look and he's all about Apple products and when he saw this on me he tried it on and he's like this looks really good and I really like it. So it says a lot when your own son, a pre-teenager, likes the stuff that his old man wears. Another awesome thing about these Urbanistas is the battery life. At 50 hours, this kind of endurance is nothing to sneeze at. It easily trounces the big kahunas like the Sony WH series, the Jabra 85H, the AirPod Max, and even the Bose 700. That's pretty impressive stuff right there. Believe it or not, I only have two items in the negatives and to the common person, these things might look small, but they do detract from the overall experience in my opinion. The first one is a tight fit. I think the clamping force is a little bit too strong. I can wear this for maybe two to three hours before I start hurting and that's not really good performance for a headphone. It, and it's also either too tight or too loose. I can never find a good adjustment. So bear that in mind, if you have a big cranium, you probably want to reconsider this. But granted, these things do stay on your head if you're jumping around with your kid or if you're doing an impersonation of a Terminator 2000 run. These things really stay on. They're nice and solid. But yeah, overall comfort, I wish this could you know, be more adjustable. The next one is fiddly controls. 
and this is probably my biggest beef with the Miami. It's like 25% of the time the button presses just go over the headphones head. It's like it never happens at all and there's a huge delay during those times as well between the phone and whatever button press I did. And also the buttons are so small, the control buttons right here, they're so small it's just an ergonomic mess. So here are my final thoughts. If you can get past the fiddly controls or the lack of customizability, the Urbanista Miami is a really good pair of headphones to consider. I was very surprised by how much I like them considering all the technical flaws, which goes to shows too that looks sometimes balances out technical prowess. These things really look the part, they really do. And up to a point, they also perform the part, which is a good thing for all of us. So if you're a casual listener or a fashion conscious person and want something better than your current headphones, then these might be the perfect thing for you. Unless of course you have a giant skull of a head, then you probably want to look somewhere else. So I want to give the Urbanista Miami a gear up score of 7.8 out of 10. And this is how I broke it down to get to that final score. If you have any questions or concern about it, feel free to comment down below and I won't answer you. <laughs> Just kidding, I will. Well, there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching this episode and please join me next Friday. We're going to be looking at the $20 Wise Watch to see if this is legit or not. And in the following weeks, we're going to be looking at also the DJI Mini 2. I might make a series about that. And if you'd like to see it, just comment down below. And also please show your support by subscribing to this channel. If you'd like to see more videos like this and help me to get to 10,000 subs, mash and kill that button down below. That would be super helpful. And also, if you haven't known already, I support and fund my whole this whole thing myself. And if you'd like to financially help, please visit my Patreon page down here. We can buy me a cup of coffee or tea or something. And also, YouTube just launched something new. If you look down below, there's the applaud button. If you click that, you can also you know support me in certain ways, and you get a shout out that way too. So visit Patreon, visit applaud, and check out how you can help me there. And also remember to thumbs up if you like this video and comment nicely down below. And thumbs down. <laughs> Thumbs down to springtime. Not because winter is gone. I'm kind of sad about that too. But springtime because it means out back there, there are bugs starting to make out and have sex. And that means we're going to have ticks, spiders, mosquitoes, flies, Lyme disease, malaria, and all that fun stuff. So yay. And thumbs down to bug sex. Well, there you have it, guys. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Please do something nice for each other because love starts with you and change starts with you too. So I'll see you the next week. God bless and peace out.